This is the Alpha X JRE's test vehicle, which was introduced in 2019. This vehicle is being used to research and develop the next generation Shinkansen bullet train. It's currently running tests and collecting data on the 714 kilometer Tohoku Shinkansen line that runs between Tokyo and Shin Aomori stations. The goal is to realize a commercial operation with a maximum speed of 360 kilometers per hour. That's 40 kilometers per hour faster than the current Shinkansen. To increase the speed of the Tohoku Shinkansen, JR East is working on developing new trains and improving facilities. In today's program, we check in on the current developments and take a look at the challenges of speeding up the Tohoku Shinkansen. In 1964, the so-called Dream Super Express Tokaido Shinkansen began running between Tokyo and Shin Osaka. The Tohoku Shinkansen began service in 1982. At the time, its maximum speed was 210 kilometers per hour. With the privatization of Japanese national railways, the Tohoku Shinkansen fell under the jurisdiction of JR East. The maximum operating speed on the line, which runs between Tokyo and Shin Aomori stations, is 320 kilometers per hour. Currently, JR East operates five Shinkansen lines, the Tohoku Shinkansen, Joetsu Shinkansen, Hokuriku Shinkansen, Yamagata Shinkansen, and Akita Shinkansen. The section beyond Shin Aomori Station is operated by JR Hokkaido. Partially opened in 2016, the Hokkaido Shinkansen connects directly to the Tohoku Shinkansen running to Shin Hakodate Hokuto Station. The Hokkaido Shinkansen line is currently under construction and is scheduled to be completed in 2031. Once finished, the line will extend all the way to Sapporo, spanning more than a thousand kilometers from its starting point in Tokyo. People are more likely to travel by plane the longer the distance. The challenge is for the Shinkansen to travel the same distance as a plane, but in less time. To do that, it's necessary to increase the speed of the Tohoku Shinkansen. The current maximum speed varies depending on the section, environmental factors, and condition of the line. The maximum speed between Tokyo and Ueno is 110 kilometers per hour. 130 kilometers per hour between Ueno and Omiya, 275 kilometers per hour between Omiya and Utsunomiya, 320 kilometers per hour between Utsunomiya and Morioka, and 260 kilometers per hour between Morioka and Shin Aomori. The fastest Shinkansen runs between Tokyo and Shin Aomori in 2 hours and 58 minutes. JR East is now working on developing high-speed technology with the aim of increasing the maximum speed of the Tohoku Shinkansen to 360 kilometers per hour. This is the Research and Development Center of JR East Group located in Saitama Prefecture. Established in 2001, the institute conducts railway-related R&D. Within the department, the Advanced Railway System Development Center is focused specifically on the high-speed Tohoku Shinkansen line. 
鉄道のモビリティのまあ革新ということを中心に、えーまあ、それをテーマにですねやっている研究所でありまして、まあ、主にまあ車両であるとか、えー、あと輸送のシステムそれから信号に関するシステム、えー、これに関する研究開発を,を担当している部署になります。まあ、その中のの中テーマの一つに高速化によって到達地点を短縮するというテーマがあると。The Alpha X, which was introduced in 2019 to test the next generation Shinkansen, was developed based on research conducted at this center. アルファ X は純粋に技術をいろいろ追求するために作った試験車ということになりますので、まあお客様が乗ることができない。まあ、乗らないことを前提に、えー、いろんな技術要素を詰め込んだ車両になっています。今のところ、当面の技術的な目標速度として、まあ、三百六十キロが実現できないかということで取り組んでいます。The first thing that catches the eye on the ten car Alpha X is the two different noses of car one and car ten, which extend out from the passenger section of the two cars. The two different shapes were designed to compare air resistance and impact noise caused by pressure waves generated when entering and exiting tunnels. Car 1, with a nose length of 16 meters, is a modified version of the current E5 series. It was designed to reduce pressure waves when traveling through tunnels, while providing more interior space at the same time. Car 10 has an even longer nose of 22 meters. It was designed to minimize noise. The window shape can affect the amount of noise generated by air resistance, so they are testing different windows on each of the cars. And to produce high output, all 10 cars are equipped with drive motors. In an effort to further reduce aerodynamic noise, they are now testing and comparing two new types of pantograph. The Alpha X currently undertakes approximately 70 test runs per year. Speed tests are conducted at night when no other trains are running. So far, a maximum speed of 380 km per hour has been recorded on a long straight section of the line. えー、360キロで安定的に走るためには試験車両としては、まあ、その1割増しぐらいの速度を走れるという性能が、まあ、十分に満足できているということを確認する必要があると考えています。えー、そういたしますと大体400キロぐらいの速度が必要になるんです。Tests are also run during the day between regularly scheduled trains to collect data mainly on noise and environmental measures. JR East will analyze this data to develop next generation high speed Shinkansen trains. えー、やはり試験車ですので、えー、いろんなチャレンジをしてきてますからチャレンジに対して、えー、想定通りにいったこと意外いやなかなかうまくいかなかったかなこんな課題を解決しなきゃいけないなと、まあ、いろいろ出てきてはいますただあまさに技術開発の確信、ねまあ、に触れるところになるので申し訳ないんですがちょっとここはあお話しで,できることがないかなと。A lot of information about the Alpha X is not disclosed to the public yet, which makes it a very mysterious vehicle. But it was interesting to see just how hard JR East is working right now to create a faster and better Shinkansen. Yes, indeed. And there are lots of improvements JR East is intending to do 
uh, by doing all these experiments. But out of those, the most important is, as you said, uh, increasing the speed. And the reason why people want to increase the speed of the high-speed trains is simply because uh, it will give them the competitiveness, especially against the airlines. Mm -hmm. And once uh, trains run faster, I think that more people would decide to shift from air to rail. That would make it greener as well. Yes, indeed. And also, uh, that will give the railway operators more income. And also, um, shorter travel times would mean you know, that more trains can be run using the same size of fleet, and that's also a very good news for the railway operator. So once the Shinkansen does go faster, what problems can we encounter then? Well, there are various issues that arise from increasing the speed, but out of those, the most important, in my opinion, would be the noise. In fact, uh, unless we are successful in reducing the noise, uh, we can't get the faster Shinkansen. Oh, OK. Reducing the noise. Let's find out how Jerry's is doing that. The JR East's Research and Development Centre has been experimenting with ways to reduce noise using a full-scale model of the elevated Shinkansen tracks. Previously, noise levels were measured outside by the Shinkansen line. Here, speakers replicate the running noise made by the Shinkansen. The amount of noise outside the model track is then measured and adjustments are made, changing the height and material of the walls. ま、this is the Joetsu Shinkansen that connects Tokyo and Niigata. It benefited from the implementation of noise reduction measures ahead of the Tohoku Shinkansen. The results saw the maximum speed increase from 240 km per hour to 275 km per hour, shortening travel time by up to seven minutes. This is due to soundproofing improvements to the track wall, which began in 2019. The noise produced by the Shinkansen can be reduced in three different ways. The first step is to install sound-absorbing panels on the track walls. In the past, sound-absorbing panels would absorb water whenever it rained or snowed, greatly reducing their effectiveness. Now, a new all-weather sound-absorbing material has been developed. ボンヘキの側面についてます、吸音材、吸音材ですが、外側がスチールのケースになっております。で、スチールのケースの中側になりますが、このような吸音材というものが入っていて、吸音をするという構造になっております。これまでの吸音材と比べまして、吸音材そ
仕切り材が入っておりましてその仕切り材に音が入って、えー、反響することで、えー、と騒音を低減する効果があります。音が、えー、入りましてその音が音同士が干渉し合うという効果で音そのものを打ち消すという効果がございますこちらにありますような環境対策工事を行うことによりまして新幹線が速度向上しても速度向上前と同等の周辺環境のレベルに抑えることができております The noise reduction measures implemented on the Joetsu Shinkansen have also been implemented on a section of the Tohoku Shinkansen. These measures were implemented between Ueno Station in Tokyo and Omiya Station in Saitama Prefecture. This section, which runs through an urban area, sees around 15 trains per hour during the day and around 30 trains per hour during peak times. Because of this, the maximum speed was limited to 110 km per hour. However, making the same upgrades as the Joetsu Shinkansen, JR East was able to reduce noise, enabling the Shinkansen to increase its maximum speed to 130 km per hour between Ueno and Omiya starting in March 2022. The next area where noise reduction measures are being implemented is the section between Morioka Station in Iwate Prefecture and Shin Aomori Station in Aomori Prefecture. Once construction is completed, the current maximum speed of 260 km per hour could increase to 320 km per hour. Before a direct service can run between Tokyo and Sapporo, certain issues need to be resolved. One of these is the snow. When snow gets under the floor of a train car, it causes a reduction in speed. For Shinkansen running in areas with heavy snowfall, measures need to be taken to prevent the buildup of snow. To that end, the Alpha X has incorporated a structure that changes the flow of air beneath the subfloor, preventing snow from settling. An even bigger problem is the Seikan Tunnel, which connects Honshu and Hokkaido. The 82 km section, including the 54 km Seikan Tunnel, is shared by both the Shinkansen and conventional lines. This section is the first case in Japan where three rails have been laid to accommodate two different car widths the Shinkansen and conventional trains. The majority of the conventional trains running here are freight trains, and their maximum speed is 110 km per hour. The 82 km shared section doesn't allow overtaking, so the Shinkansen isn't able to operate at high speeds. Also, if a Shinkansen train ran through the tunnel at speed, the resulting wind pressure could derail a passing freight train or cause it to load shift. For this reason, the speed of the Shinkansen is limited to 160 km per hour. If the Hokkaido Shinkansen were extended to Sapporo under these conditions, the travel time between Tokyo and Sapporo would be close to five hours. One immediate solution that's currently being implemented on a trial basis is to separate the running times of the Shinkansen and freight trains. 
This will increase the maximum speed of the Shinkansen from 160 km per hour to 210 km per hour, moving up the arrival time by three minutes. However, this is only a temporary measure. When the line eventually extends to Sapporo and the number of trains increase, further efforts to increase speed will be necessary. It's interesting to see just how many efforts are being made to increase the speed of the Shinkansen and decrease the noise. Yes, indeed. And actually, um, before 1964, which was when the Tokaido Shinkansen opened, few engineers, in my opinion, even thought that noise would become such an issue as it is now. Mm -hmm. But it did after the opening of the Shinkansen. So um, since then, the history of increasing the speed on the Shinkansen was basically how we can tackle and reduce the noise uh, that is generated by the running of the Shinkansen. Mm -hmm. I am so excited about the full opening of the Hokkaido Shinkansen because it will take me and other passengers from Tokyo all the way to Sapporo without any transfers. Mm, and on the trains, you would probably see uh, some of the techniques that has been either developed or tested on the Alpha X. And so uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm also excited about going 360 kilometers per hour. That feeling, it's faster than the German Autobahn. Ah, certainly. Next is Tourist Trains in Style, where we introduced wonderful tourist trains from all around Japan. This is Karuizawa Station in Nagano Prefecture. It's both a stop for the Hokuriku Shinkansen and Shinano Railway, which originates here. Shinano Railway is a third sector company in Nagano Prefecture that's made up of two lines. This wooden station building was originally built in 1910 for the JR line. However, it was demolished when the Shinkansen started service. Rebuilt by Shinano Railway, it was moved here. Inside the old-fashioned station building, there's a waiting lounge. And on the other side of the ticket gate, there is a play area for children. This is where Shinano Railway's tourist train, Rokumon, departs. This chic-looking train is Rokumon. The name Rokumon comes from the coat of arms of the Japanese feudal lord who ruled the area in the 17th century. On the platform, the sound of a conch shell, traditionally used in battle, signals that it's time to board the train. They depart Karizawa Station. Rokumon travels 75 kilometers to Nagano Station, moving to the JR line along the way. The calm wooden interior creates a relaxed atmosphere. Each car features a different type of wood from Nagano Prefecture. Car 1, which is made of larch, has two and four-person box seats as well as sofa seats. In the center, there is a wooden ball pool where children can play. Car 2 is made of cedar. Here, counter seats face outward so that passengers can enjoy the view from the train windows. Car 3 is made of cypress. It has 10 private two-person rooms, separated by shoji paper screens. On board, passengers can enjoy a course menu prepared by a famous chef from a restaurant along the line. The dishes are prepared in the onboard kitchen and served by the train's attendants. 
This morning's course is Italian, served with plenty of local ingredients. The train makes two 15-minute stops at stations along the way. Passengers get off and take commemorative photos on the platform. Rokumon operates mainly on weekends and Mondays. In addition to the Western-style menu, there's a Japanese-style menu and an evening menu featuring locally produced wine. Approximately two hours after departing Karizawa Station, Rokumon arrives at Nagano Station. With wonderful meals and fantastic scenery, everyone enjoyed a relaxing train journey. This train really lets passengers enjoy Nagano Prefecture's local food and nature. And I think the use of local wood as well inside the train adds to giving the interior a warm and welcoming atmosphere. Mm. And the design was done by Mr. Mitoka Eiji. Oh. oh, you know him. And that's the person behind many different tourist trains and passenger trains across Japan. And if you are a fan of Mr. Mitoka's designs, then the Rokumon is certainly yet another vehicle you can enjoy. And also, the Rokumon is a refurbished version of Series 115 unit, which was designed and manufactured during the days of Japanese National Railways. They are old, of course, but the fact that they are running uh, and still in service is a very great thing in itself. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to ride the Rokumon myself. <laughs>